Welcome back to the channel, Side Hustle Cinema here, and I wanted to do a quick video talking about uh, some news, you know, that I, that I found out uh, that, you know, Walmart has kind of announced their plans for Black Friday, and I hadn't really heard anyone talking about it, so I thought I would share it with you guys. I know this stuff is usually, you know, pretty popular information, and uh, it sounds a little bit disappointing, though. Walmart has decided to do what they did last year, uh, mostly because it was it was so popular that they've broken their Black Friday up into three week of you know three weeks of events. So instead of just having the one day, they have people keep coming back to the store or going online three straight weeks in a row. They have posted the ads for the first two, you know, uh, events that are coming out. Uh, I'll read you what it says here. Uh, Walmart has announced their Black Friday plans for this year, and they look very similar to last year after what they say was overwhelming positive customer feedback to last year's three separate sales. Walmart, Walmart will once again... Uh, have three weeks of sales starting November 3rd as they did last year and each sale will start online on Wednesday before starting in stores on Friday. Uh, Walmart Plus members will receive early access to online Black Friday events throughout November and can shop the Black Friday deals on Walmart.com uh, four hours before everyone else. So if you are a Walmart Plus uh, member, uh, you're going to get a jump on all the deals. But looking at the paper, honestly, I didn't see a whole lot of deals. So the first two, uh, you know, legs of this event, you know, events one and two, uh, those ads have been posted. And in the first one that starts uh, on November 3rd, online and then it's uh, it starts at 7 p.m. November 3rd online and then it goes live uh, in stores at 5 a.m. on Friday November 5th unfortunately this deal this first deal doesn't have any movies in it um, there's some TVs you know there's the normal stuff toys you know Keurig coffee pots that kind of stuff um, but you know, we're, I'm here to report about you know the media, the physical media, and stuff like that. So um, no deals in that first leg of the um, events. Event number two, however, is where the movie deals are, and that one kicks off um, online November 10th at 7 p.m. and then will be live in store on November 12th, starting at 5 a.m. And this is a uh, Walmart's Black Friday event two. So if you go to Black Friday, or if you go to gotadeal.com and click on their Black Friday section, under additional deals you'll see the Walmart uh, Black Friday events one and two. Part two is the one that you want to check on if you want to see what movies are available. And it is on page four of the ad when we see what the tiers are and some of the selections that they have available. They have uh, 30 over 30 titles available at 596 each. And then they have a section it's over 40 titles at 796 each. Then they have a section it's over 30 titles at 996 each. And then finally a, a, a section that's over 30 titles at 1296 each. But if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you can see these groups. Uh, they're in blue, and it, you'll see the little price tags on there. You can click on those groups, and it'll take you to the website, uh, Walmart's website. And you can actually see all the movies that will be in the sale. Right now, they have the sale price that they currently go for. But these are the movies that will be on sale. So I'll go through them for you a little bit and show you some pictures of you know what I see here. So the this is the 596 category. 
which you know these are some okay movies the only problem is is almost all of these are exclusively on DVD you know we have Godzilla vs Kong Wonder Woman 84 Quiet Place 2 you know the Croods Mortal Kombat you know Trolls World Tour uh, unfortunately all those are DVD and I know most people aren't collecting DVDs uh, they do have Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit on Blu-ray, but everyone already has those on 4K or some, you know, or they just own them already. Elf and Polar Express on DVD, everything pretty much Snake Eyes, uh, that's a good one, but again, it's just DVD. The Marksman, uh, they do have Lampoon's Vacation and A Christmas Story, but again, just DVD, and that's just kind of the the rest of this group it's just all DVD so clicking on the next group and this is the 796 group it's supposed to be over 40 titles in this group but you'll see a recurring theme of DVD we got Black Panther we got Mulan both on DVD now you do get some blu-rays here uh, Avengers and then Avengers Age of Ultron and then uh, in Avengers Affinity War and also uh, Captain Marvel I mean all those are on blu-ray and that's a nice you know pretty nice deal if you don't want you know a 4k but I think most people probably have these titles Deadpool Doctor Strange also available uh, Guardians of the Galaxy a lot of it seems like it's a lot of the Disney titles uh, 796 for these blu-rays pretty good deal but you know they are available in 4k and that's really what we're hoping to see on sale was 4k's you get frozen and frozen 2 on DVD uh, the Kingsman collection on blu-ray we got onward on DVD spies in disguise uh, you got a few of the Star Wars movies looks like most of the Star Wars movies uh, on blu-ray we got tangled Toy Story 4, you know, Wreck-It Ralph, A Christmas Carol on Blu-ray, Deadpool 2, Maleficent, you know, The Lion King, but most of these are either on Blu-ray or, or DVD. We're not getting hardly any, actually in this group, I don't think we've gotten a single uh, 4K in this group. Uh, Ralph Breaks the Internet, Princess and the Frog, Sound of Music, Fox and the Hound, uh, The New Mutants on DVD. Just a very, very disappointing group of movies. Um, you know, just being on mostly DVD or just being movies that, you know, we already have and maybe we're looking for the upgrade. So the next group was the group that had the um, Justice League on 4K so maybe it'll be a little better it's the 996 we well, get fast 9 on blu-ray I guess for ten dollars that's a pretty good deal but I think most people want the 4k uh, you get Wonder Woman 84 Kong vs Godzilla but those again are just blu-rays you can get Justice League on Blu-ray or you can get it on the 4K, both for $10. Interesting. Uh, the Crudes movie collection, the Trolls movie collection, all on just DVD. Shrek movie collection, How to Train Your Dragon collection on DVD. We got the Game of Thrones. They have a whole bunch of se uh, seasons of Game of Thrones. Unfortunately, all of them on DVD. We got the Mission Impossible 5 movie collection. We got Friday the 13th uh, uh, 8 movie collection. Both are just on DVD though. Then we got Paw Patrol the movie on Blu-ray. Boss Baby. Uh, Family Business. So that one's on uh, Blu-ray. So that one maybe is a maybe for some people I guess. You do get Mortal Kombat uh, on Blu-ray again no real 4k is just pretty much the one 4k in this in this group a bunch more seasons of Game of Thrones all on DVD uh, an episode a series a season of Supernatural on just DVD 
the Big Bang Theory, uh, it's the 12th season, you know, it's the final season. It's just on DVD as well, though. Umbrella Academy Season 1 on DVD. Yeah, it's it's a whole lot of DVD. That's what I'm seeing. It's just a whole, whole bunch of DVD. Band of Brothers, The Rocky Collection, Doom Patrol, Snowpiercer. All would be great pickups, you know, on Blu-ray. But it's just all DVD. Uh, His Dark Materials. Lovecraft Country, The Pacific, Rick and Morty, all on Blu-ray, unfortunately. I mean, all on DVD, unfortunately. So maybe the top tier will have all the goodness that we want. The 1296 tier. Mm, no, no, it doesn't. Uh, you do get Black Widow, but it's on DVD. You get Luca and Cruella. But just on DVD, you got Black Panther on Blu-ray, uh, Free Guy, Ryan the Last Dragon, um, on DVD, you know, for twelve ninety-six. You got one hundred one Dalmatians and Aladdin on Blu-ray. You got Avengers Endgame, Beauty and the Beast, Bugs Life, Cars, all those are released on Blu-ray. Uh, you got Disney Cinderella. You got Coco on. Um, Blu-ray, which, you know, Coco is already twelve ninety nine, so you're saving three pennies if you wait till the Black Friday sale. Uh, Deadpool is on 4K, and it will be included in on this deal, but it is already fourteen fifty. you know, so you're saving a, a whopping $1.50. Uh, Die Hard is in on this deal, so that, that's a good one. Then we got Frozen 2, we got Dumbo. Uh, again, these are only right now priced, only a dollar or two more expensive than this Black Friday deal. Ford vs. Ferrari. You can pick it up right now for $12.99, or you can wait till this Black Friday deal and get it for $12.96. So you can save those three pennies. Uh, if you are interested in saving a dollar, you can pick up The Greatest Showman on 4K. Because right now it goes for $13.99. So, and then uh, then we got The Incredibles 1 and 2 on Blu-ray. We got Inside Out. We got Lady and the Tramp. At least all those are on Blu-ray. Uh, the Lion King on Blu-ray. Mulan and Maleficent all on Blu-ray. Actually, funny enough, The Lion King right now is priced below the Black Friday price. <laughs> Uh, if you pick it up right now, you can get it for eleven dollars and two cents. If you wait till this Black Friday event, it'll be two dollars higher. Logan uh, is a 4K that you know is an awesome movie, and it's actually a really good deal. Um, I would like to pick this one up right now myself. It's uh, of thirteen ninety nine, um, so you can save a dollar if you wait till the Black Friday deal. We got Soul on DVD. We got Onward on Blu-ray. We got some of the Star Wars movies on Blu-ray. We got Lion King, uh, Little Mermaid, Toy Story 2, to Toy Story 4, and Zootopia. Unless the third, you know, uh, event in this that hasn't been released yet, unless it's going to include all the really awesome deals uh, on some of these uh, c TV seasons that we want on maybe Blu-ray or 4K, if it's going to have some of the newer movies on 4K at, you know, a nice discount. But, I don't know, just going by what they did last year, um, that wasn't really the case. So, uh, it's kind of disappointing. A little bit, uh, well, very disappointing, really. And we still got Target, we still got Best Buy. You know, there's the uh, Cyber Monday, I'm sure. You know, Amazon will be running some deals. Uh, maybe some of the, you know, the, the studios and stuff will be having their Black Friday sales. So there, there's still deals to be had, but as far as Walmart goes, uh, it's already looking like a bust. Now, they don't have the, the third event listed just yet. And uh, so I did go back and I actually looked at last year's paper just to make sure uh, to see uh, if there was any movie deals in that third event. And there wasn't. Um, I actually have their, you can see their archived 
Black Friday ads, and you can go and check out last year's uh, schedule of events as they unrolled out last year. That third event was um, when all their video games and things went on sale. They also had some of their best deals on TVs, uh, computers, you know, things like that. Uh, it was their best uh, part of the sale, but um, there was no movies in it. Uh, their movies was in the second event, just like it is this year. And I actually have the, the pictures here of that event for you guys. And it was actually way better last year than it is this year. I mean, you can see that they had uh, some 4Ks for $7.96 last year. They had uh, all three of the John Wick movies and Angel Has Fallen. Um, they had a 396 tier. They don't even have a tier that low this year. 596 is as low as they go this year. They had a 396 tier last year. That included a, a, a whole lot of, um, at the time, current you know new releases. And then under the 596, they had quite a few uh, Blu-rays from last year. So it looks like they got a better deal last year. They actually had two pages worth last year. This year we only got one page. Uh, they actually showed um, over 40 titles of of uh, of movies or of TV shows that came out last year that were 996. And then some of their old stock titles, their Disney titles were all 996 last year. They're 1296 this year. And uh, and then they had two more lower tiers, one of just holiday classics for 396, and and then it looked like a bunch of you know catalog titles for 396. Most of those were the DVDs. So it looks like they got a better deal last year. Just doesn't look like we're getting a, a good deal this year. Actually, I you know I already owned that that uh, you know 4K of Justice League, so. Honestly, I didn't see a thing that I wanted to pick up. So, uh, it looks like it truly will be a Black Friday at Walmart. I uh, wish I had better news, but I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe. And leave a comment about, well, anything we talked about on today's episode. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Stay safe, have fun, keep watching those movies. We'll see ya.